New mothers are told breast is best for their baby's health, but breastfeeding rates remain very low in some parts of the UK, with babies in well-off areas four times more likely to have breast milk. Researchers think that offering shopping vouchers could perhaps hold the key to persuading women to breastfeed. This early stage of a four-year study begins today. It will involve up to 130 new mothers in parts of Derbyshire and Sheffield. If they breastfeed for six months, they'll get shopping vouchers worth £200, given in five stages. The mothers and their midwife or health visitor sign forms to declare their breastfeeding, with the project relying on honest conversations. People's initial reaction is, oh gosh, you can't do that. But then when, once they start thinking about it and realising uh, how the importance of breastfeeding to babies, mums and society and the fact that the UK has one of the, one of the worst breastfeeding rates in the world, they think, well, yeah, OK, let's give this a try. But in Sheffield, the city where the research is based, some mothers are questioning whether vouchers are the right way forward. You're already saving money if you breastfeed anyway because you're not having to buy all the formula and as many bottles or anything like that. So there's, there's already a financial incentive. I think it's much more important to give people support. If I think about the people I know who didn't breastfeed, people I know personally, it, it wouldn't work and it's kind of insulting almost to them because they really did want to feed and they couldn't. Breastfeeding helps stop babies from getting infections and other health problems, but it's not always straightforward. The issue is there's a small number of mums who will have difficulty breastfeeding and if you offer vouchers they're going to feel disadvantaged by that offer because they're not going to be able to take it up. If the researchers in Sheffield manage to dramatically improve breastfeeding rates in deprived areas this would lead to a debate about offering vouchers more widely but the results won't be clear for at least another two years. Jane Draper, BBC News.